This is a real quick video to explain how to take Iron Factory Shrike Feather, their slipstream, and remove the tail fins. They are pinned in on both the bottom and the top. On the top, it is a solid piece. You can go in and drill a tiny hole at the bottom here, at the top end here, and use a pin punch to press out the pin to the end point and then grab a hold of it. I've already done it with this one. Here you can see very clearly, I drilled a very small hole at this point here. Come on, focus. You don't need to be over there. Sorry. You can tell I'm a professional. Uh, I've drilled a very small hole at this point, used a press, and it is now sticking out yay so far. What you then do is you just grab a pair of tweezers or pliers, grab a hold of it, and just leverage it out. Dang, grab it. Pull. And then it should just pop free right about there. One, two, ready to go. You can see on this point, the hole is right here that I just drilled a very small hole in. I'm going to try and do this on camera. So let's give this a try on Shrike Feather number two. What we're going to do is start off by removing two screws very quickly. Screw number one, screw number two. This piece should just then separate, just like that. This is the part that we're going for is this inner leg piece. What we're going to do is come along at this point right here, where this flat bit meets the round bit. You don't even need anything major. I am using a narrow down screwdriver. And I'll try and do this with my, I'm not going to do that with my left hand, I'm sorry guys. Almost knocked the camera over again. We're going to come along right here, and I'm just going to, yep, bleed everywhere. I'm trying to get this where you can see it, but that is, I don't think that's going to happen, so just bear with me a minute. Okay, I have now started a hole right here. I'm going to keep working on it. You know, maybe I should invest in a tripod and a band-aid. That might be nice. Just a minute. You keep drilling in the same spot until you can feel it hit metal. I think I, I think I just hit metal. So you're get, it's going to look like that when you do it. Grab a punch. I am bleeding all over this toy. That is not a good thing. I need to wash it off now. Grab a punch. Go in. Try and press. It's not deep enough. Hang on, I, I gotta get banded. Hang on. Okay, no sense in both of us being battle damaged. So what you do is once you've drilled this hole out, you're then going to want to take a pin punch and press until you get just a little bit of a head right there. That might be enough. Probably not. I'm gonna give it a try grab a hold of it. It helps if you have a pair of snips rather than needle nose. Grab it and use the leverage just like pulling a nail out with a hammer. There we go. See? It's coming out now. Yeah, just like that. Um, 
this is a much more difficult problem than on the regular. Well, the regular also had this issue. There is no hole here on the top, and so it's just one solid pin. What you had to do on this one is trim this entire backside off to get a pair of pliers in there and pull it out. On this one, there's not really enough room to trim to grab hold of it. So that's the best way I know how to do it. Hope that helps.